Alright, so I had a few things to say about tonight's episode. Uh, mainly to start off, Jasmine and Dexter had this conversation regarding Nick, um, kind of about his gameplay. You know, Jasmine was pretty much talking about how she had Nick as the winner uh, before she came into the house, and then when she got in the house, her feelings start changing. And then Dexter was pretty much like, kind of giving advice to Nick, saying, you know, you kind of got to get back to the old Nick. And I kind of thought about it, and I know a lot of people have been saying that, you know, Nick should win the game and they got Nick as the winner, but I just kind of feel like this whole discussion about Nick being the winner has got to stop. With Nick, he's played a quiet game throughout the whole game. You know, to start out, him and Jay was kind of the pair, and he was quiet then. And then him and Harry was a pair, and then he was still quiet. Now, I know a lot of people, you know, don't like the fact that Nick is quiet when Harry's going off on him. And that seems like the only time he speaks up now because so many people have mentioned things to him about how it's affecting his game. And I kind of feel like most people are just going to give him a sympathy vote and try to have him win the game that way. There is a person in the house who's played a better game than Nick. Now, I know each person has their own opinion about, you know, who they like and who they want to win, but, you know, choosing Nick over somebody like Mark would be a terrible decision <laughs> as far as choosing the winner of Big Brother. And I'm going to explain why a little bit later, but, you know, mainly in this episode, you kind of seen Harry going off on Nick again. And actually, I, I did feel bad for him that she, how she is going off on him tonight. But, you know, she is mainly going off on him, like in the bathroom, talking about how he never lets her finish the sentence or she's always trying to explain something and he's always cutting her off. And I kind of felt like both Nick and Joel had a good point in the house when she is kind of going off how she never says how she feels and she's going back and forth with Nick and she even has a meltdown during this episode to where they were kind of uh, getting getting lunch for everybody who was working and then she started complaining about the chips that she is eating between her and Jack I didn't know who was more depressed about being a hotel staff but kinda of with Mark him and Ashleen finally made up in the house as they kinda of called a truce towards the end. I think they would have never made up with each other had it not been for James coming in the house. I felt like James coming in the house was probably the most positive thing for the house and I felt like he's been the funniest house guest so far. As soon as James said that he wanted Mark to swap places, Asleen, she immediately got pissed. You know, Danny, I could tell that he was pissed as well. And I kind of felt like the argument between Mark and Jasmine, I felt like that whole thing was funny is I kind of feel like James gets Mark's humor. It's kind of like he knows what Mark brings to the house and that he knows that Mark brings a form of entertainment to the house. As far as who I want to see go this week, I want to see Sam go or Jack go. But probably I would say Sam more than Jack. I mainly wanted to go back to the whole Nick and why he should not win Big Brother in comparison to Mark. So Nick, he's been quiet throughout the whole game. He hasn't really said much unless he has been kind of, you know, trying to comfort Harry or whether he's trying to stick up for himself now within the past few weeks. But mainly with him versus Mark's gameplay. You have Nick, he's sitting back, he's not saying anything. But Mark, he's pretty much sparking something out of almost every housemate in the house, especially with the original people who came in. So you have somebody like Christian, you have Danny, you have Chloe. Usually all of them get into an argument with, with Mark. Now you take Mark out the house, who really is Chloe arguing with? Who's Danny arguing with? Who's Christian arguing with? Who is Sam actually talking to in the house? besides Mark. And it's kind of like, you know, without Mark, even with Harry, you know, Mark argue with her a lot as well. But I know they're not arguing no more because they kind of settled their beef, but 
it's kind of like almost every housemate it links back to Mark and if Mark wasn't in the game to show it just wouldn't be entertaining for the season now granted they've brought back a lot of legends in the house because mainly the originals in the house hasn't been doing anything so they've been bringing back legends to kind of spark interest in the show mainly with Nick since he hasn't done much and since he's kinda of starting to be more vocal now I kinda of feel like it's a little bit too late in the game for him to recover but what I would like to know is from the general public you know how do you base your vote do you base it off a sympathy vote or do you base it off the entertainment factor like if Mark wasn't in the house what entertainment would the show have feel free to share your thoughts on this episode and what you think also if you feel like putting who you think should win the game you can put that as well but until next time this has been Jacob Rob AJ and I'll see you.